start with the name of allah with the most grateful the most merciful assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome you in pakistan international school taif the students of class first year hope you all are well and fine and working hard with your studies dear students uh, today we have english lecture number 14 and this is for grade first year and we are going to learn unit 17 today and the topic is uh, what you do is what you are and we are going to learn the page number 152 to 158 and here is your teacher sarfraz nadeem dear students i want to add over here that the lesson number in the previous lecture in lecture number 13 we completed the unit 15 and today we have unit 17 actually unit 15 is about uh, we completed unit 15 which was about uh, the topic was unit 15 it was uh, university days and unit 16 the topic of unit 16 is school versus education but that is not included in our course because it has been uh, syllabus has been reduced and revised by the federal board so we have then unit 17 what you do is what you are so let's start the lesson today what you do is what you are what is the uh, message or image is creating in your uh, mind about the topic that what you do means what you the work what you work and what you are means whatever you are working you are known by that so this is a topic today let's start the lesson this is unit 17 dear students and what you do is what you are we have the uh, here you can see uh, pre reading apply critical thinking to interact with text use intensive reading strategies scan to answer distinguish between what is clear by state and what is implied and comprehend in draft text by applying critical thinking analyze passages in the text to identify the theme general subject key idea central thought and demonstrate heightened awareness of conventions and dynamic of group discussion and interaction use the knowledge of roots and suffixes and affixes to determine the meaning of unfamiliar words and recognize every varying positions of adverbs and sentences according to their kinds and importance this is pre reading means by end of the unit the students will be able to to this line here we are dear student topic is what you do is what you are means what you do means that you are Here we have to start. We unlike people, almost everywhere else in the world, tend to define and judge everybody in term of the work they do, especially work performed for pay. Charlie is a doctor. Sam is a carpenter. Mary Ellen is a copywriter at small ad agency. it is as if by defining how a person earns his or her rent money we validate or reject that person's existence now dear students uh, in this uh, passage the writer says that we define and judge everybody through the work or job they do we validate or reject person's existence on the basis of job we say charlie is a doctor same is carpenter and mary ellen is copywriter like this through the work and job title we evaluate the worth of the life attached larry is a laid off auto worker tony is retired teacher sally is a former show girl and blackjack dealer from vegas it is as if by learning that a person currently earns no money at job and maybe hasn't earned any money at a job for years we assign that person to limbo at least for the present we define such non employed persons in term of their past job history so dear students definitely it is in our society every person is known by his work 
and if someone is not working we don't have a honor and respect for that person a uh, someone uh, is known or uh, is given a respect with his profession if someone is a doctor we definitely have great respect if someone is teacher we have a respect accordingly and if someone is cleaner or like this we have a respect according to the profession so we know the people according to their profession according to their job according to their duties that is the in this passage this seems peculiar to me here dear students a peculiar means a strange unusual like the writer is saying people aren't cast in bronze because of job they hold or once held a retired teacher for example may spend a lot of volunteer time working with handicapped children or raising money for loyal order of hibernating habitats that apparently doesn't count Who's a Tony, a retired teacher, a lead of auto worker, may pump gas at his cousin's gas station or sell encyclopedia on weekends. But who's Larry? Until and unless he begins to work steadily again, he's lead of auto worker. This is the same as saying he's nothing now, but he used to be something, an auto worker. So, dear students, here they say that we assign. that person to limb and we define such a person in term of their past job history if a person is a retired person we do not give him value unless he begins to work again this is the uh, uh question this is on our society as well that really we are doing this. there is a whole category of other people who are just something to be just anything is worst it is not recognized by society as having much value at all not now and probably not in the past either to be just anything is to be totally discounted at least for them now dear students in this paragraph is told that to be just anything is worst means if someone is just ordinary person he has a kind of ordinary job not as much that we don't have a value and respect in the society for that person we just judge the people by their duties by their jobs we don't know their nature and their human humanity present there are a lot of people who are just something just a housewife immediately and painfully comes to mind we still hear it all the time sometimes the women who have kept a house and reared six children refer to themselves as just a housewife just a house what we give to the housewife is a just but look the work rearing the six children and uh, arranging the whole house but we have just a word for just a bum just a kid bag bag lady o oh man student punk or some other you can probably add to the list the just category contains present non earner people who have no past job history highly valued by society and people whose present jobs are on the low end of pay and prestige prestige scale prestige scale means that they have a great scale a high scales they have we have a value and respect for these people a person can be just a cab driver for example or just a janitor no one is ever just a vice president however now these students He is saying that when we have a kind of a cab driver or a janitor, janitor means a person who just cleans or who just work. So we definitely will say this is a just a janitor or just a cab driver. But we never say just a vice president. He is a view. He is a vice president. We will never use the word just for that vice president. We are supposed to be a classless society, but we are not. We don't recognize a title nobility. He refused to acknowledge dynastic privilege, but we certainly separate the value from the valueless, and it has a lot to do with job and importance or prestige we attach to them. It is no use arguing whether any of this is correct or proper. Rationally, it is silly. That's our system, however, and we should not. of a system however and we should not only keep it in mind we should teach our children how it works it is perfectly well to want to grow to be a cowboy or nurse 
kids should know however that quite apart from earning potential the cattle breeder is much more respected than the higher hand the doctor gets a lot more respect and privilege than the nurse now dear students you can see that's the we must learn to our kids that the people are not given respect by their job no all are respected the doctor gets a lot more respect and privilege than the nurse or what about the cattle cattle breeder is how he is given a respect and honor in society this is a question i think some anthropologists ought to study our uncatalogued system of awarding respect and preference to each other based on job we hold where does a vice president project planning fit in is that better than vice president sales and public conscious consciousness or unconsciousness writers and bidly don't bidly means the uh, nothing earning means very low amount but i suspect they are held in higher esteem than when the rock musician that is if everybody older than 40 gets to vote dear students here it means that we should uh, teach our children that a cow boy or nurse is more respected than the higher hand some anthropologists make a wording system about respect and difference to each other regarding jobs we hold some anthropologists should study a system for awarding respect in place of vice president writer and a wealthy musician in proper place because they hold different scale of system now in the last this paragraph dear students how do we decide which jobs have great value and therefore the job holders are wonderful people why is someone who builds shopping center called an entrepreneur while someone who builds free wage is called a contractor i have no answer to any of this but we might think about the phenomena the next time we are tempted to fawn over some strange because we find out he happened to be a judge or next time we catch ourselves discount the personal worth the garbage collector so here dear students in the paragraph it is said that here a shopping center opener is called an entrepreneur and a freeway builder is called contractor we should think about this phenomenon because we give respect to a judge and discount and personal worth of garbage and collector so this is uh, whole the sum up of the lesson is that we should give respect not according to their duties and jobs but we should have a respect all of them as we are giving respect to the all the people who are here and honored as well and dear students we have the word meaning anthropologist means the study of human societies and cultures and their development and we have diddly dot means to earn a meager amount and dynastic means a retiring or line of heredity so word meaning is given over here very dead we check or prove then after this uh, we have the question answers definitely you if you have uh, understood the lesson properly then you can just uh, write the answers of these questions as well and then after this slide we have this kind of uh, uh, that we have vocabulary and grammar exercise a use prefixes to find the opposite of these verbs and then use them in your sentence like rap use these are such words dear students what we have to do we have to use what prefixes now prefixes is such words which make them uh, empty for example how how can you say that it becomes like one word is the rape you can see over here where is the rape the word w r a p rape so this is uh, if you will say put u n it will be unrape and then you have to use in the sentence like he was anxious for me to unrape the other gifts second is use so if misuse so uh, his career was ruined through the misuse of drugs so here use misuse agree disagree he is tolerant of those who disagree with him arrange engage so you say disengage too many young people disengage from learning so like this you have to use prefixes uh, then they will become the opposite meaning of the actual word then exercise b we have put the words in the brackets in the appropriate form use prefixes or suffixes to fill in the 
blanks. Now, dear, so he was acting in a very dash way. The word child is given. So we will say childish way. Number she looked dash. She started to cry. Now, happy is word. We say she looked unhappy. She started. And then he passed his exam. He was dash for the second time. Successful. Succeed is given. Successful will be word. Number four, the team that he supported was able to win the dash champion. So it will be championship. And then here will be championship. I couldn't find any in his theory. So weak is word is weakness. Weak, the word is given over here. He wants to be a dash when he grows up mathematics. So mathematician, it will be here. There were only a dash uh, of people at the match, hand, handful of people, just few yani. The road was too narrow, so they had to dash it wide, widen. I think that you should, your decision, it may not be the best thing to do. Consider, reconsider your decision. And last, you need a dash of motivation, organization, and how work to realize your dreams. So the word... The word is given, combined, combination is given. So the exercise B is done. Then we have a grammar section. Rewrite the following sentence after adding the given eight verbs in an appropriate place like I have understood her. So never word is given. So where you will put the never? I have understood her. So where you will say never? Where you will use the never? Yes, very easy I think it is. You will say I have never understood her. So after the have, you have to put the never over here. Second, my friend forgot my birthday. Now complete is there. So will you completely say, my friend completely forgot my birthday. Are you saying my friend forgot my birthday completely? In the last, you can also add both can be. Number three, he got dressed quickly. So how can you say he got dressed quickly or he quickly got dressed. Both can be. Dear students, I'm not writing, but just I'm saying verbally with you. And then he got dressed in a hurry. So how will you do this, dear students? I am just this. I'm going to write for you. So like he got dressed. Yes, he got dressed. Yes, in a hurry. Very easy. Like this. And then we have here that she realized her mistake. Eight ones is there. So we will say she, yes, eight ones, she eight ones realized, realized her mistake. So this is like this. And second, we are invited to parties at the weekends, often. So what we will say here, we are often invited. We will put often here. We are often here. Often. We are often invited to parties at the weekend. Number seven. She has done everything. She has been a solid one. So we will say she has done everything. She has even been a solid one. Even. She has even here. Even. Yes. Been a soldier. Okay. After the soldier sentence. I have finished painting the house. Almost. So where you is? I have almost here. I have almost. Yes. Finished painting the house. Number nine. Could you switch the light off? Now how will you say? Could you switch off the light here? Off. Yes. Off the light. Number ten. We go to a native place in summer. So what we? Yes. We usually go here. We usually go to a place. Now a two sentence. 11, 12 is your work, homework to do, okay, and uh, definitely send to me. So this is your homework. Let's uh, see what we have next. Dear students, you have a grammar uh, uh, homework, and what for homework we have? Homework we have uh, like this, that uh, grammar, 10 to 12 sentence in the last days. I told you this is your homework. Today, just two sentences, right? Nothing more in homework. And what will be the next lecture? Inshallah, the next lecture will be of unit 20. And that will be how to take a job interview. How to take a job interview. It will be the next lesson. 
this is all about today's lecture dear students and i uh, hope so you understood the things today we learned about the chapter number 17 what you are what you do what you are and we are just giving honor respect and privilege to those people who are working the jobs and if they are working less or they are earning less or they have the not uh, shining professions we don't have a great respect for me for us so this uh, system should be changed and we should give respect equal respect to all the people whatever they are a doctor engineer or the pn or something else so like this is all about today's lecture hope so you understood dear students if you have any query any problem you can ask me on zoom and uh, thank you so much for joining and allah hafiz